Hello everyone, this is Jordan Looch, and this is my first tutorial on how to animate with MS Paint and Windows Movie Maker. These are two programs that come with every PC. Um, if you don't know where they are, I'll show you how to find them. So, um, basically what we're going to cover here is just that, the basics. Um, what I'm going to show you is just how to make a picture in MS Paint, uh, saving it, importing it into Movie Maker, adding it to the timeline, and then chopping it to the smallest um, frame length possible in Movie Maker, which is 1 15th of a second. And then after this, I'll probably make follow-up tutorials, um, you know, going from there, such as adding backgrounds and other stuff that I can't think of at this moment. So here we are at the desktop. Uh, now let's just assume you don't even know how to access Paint or Movie Maker. So we're going to click Start, then click Search, and then in the Search click on All Files and Folders, and type in into this box Paint, then click Search, and you're gonna cut, get some results and then right click on whichever one says paint and click create shortcut and when you do that you can see right there we have a icon that leads to paint and then just do the same thing for Windows Movie Maker just type in the search Windows Movie Maker and right click it and make it a shortcut So let's start by double clicking on the paint icon, which will lead us to paint, where we begin the process. I might as well just show you how I make my basic stick figure, which I use for all my videos, uh, Jedi Arts, uh, Lunatics, Pixelibrium. This is the very basic model. And the reason I use it is because it's really easy to make. And since you're drawing over and over and over again, you want to draw something that you can make relatively fast. So uh, t the tool I use for the head is the airbrush tool, which is the one that's circled. Um, it looks like a spray can. And you're going to have three different sizes for it. And you want to choose the biggest size. And then just drag the spray can over to the your canvas. And then just hold down the mouse button until you make a full circle, like so. Uh, so now we'll go over the, the body, which is the line tool. And we're going to select the biggest line possible, which is the very bottom one that's highlighted. And uh, just draw him, draw his body, his limbs, and there you go. Takes about two seconds very easy and then we're just gonna save this picture and we go to file save as and then just call them whatever and click save okay uh, now we're gonna close that and then go to Windows Movie Maker uh, so we're gonna go to file import into collections and we're going to scroll down find our test guy and click import and there he is he's now in our collections so we're going to add him to the timeline there's two ways to do that you can either drag him over there like so or right click on the picture and click add to timeline and there he is he's now in the video section just like that. So that's how you do one picture. But let's say um, you've made an animation, you've made several pictures, and you want to add them all. Well, you don't have to import them one at a time. Um, if you know how to shift click, then there's no point in watching this portion. But if you don't, here's what you do. Here's Let's say we have this walking uh, sequence here. So we're going to click on the very first frame up top here and then we're going to 
find the last picture in the sequence of the animation, which let's just say for this tutorial is that picture there. And we're going to hold down the shift button and then click it. And it's going to highlight all the pictures from the first picture you click to the very last picture. Um, but be sure to be holding down shift before you click. Don't click it, then shift click, or it's not going to work. Click the first one, then shift click the last picture, obviously, and then click import. And now they're all going to import at the same time into your collections to make it uh, a billion times faster. Um, so before we add these guys to the timeline, um, we're going to make it so the pictures, when they get added, the default length is shorter. The default is five seconds, but you want it to be shorter because it's a lot easier to work with. You won't be able to make the frame length um, its smallest, which is one fifteenth of a second. Um, you're going to have to manually do that for each picture but it is a lot easier to work with um, once the pictures are smaller. So click on tools up top and scroll down to options and you're gonna get this uh, menu. Um, none of this stuff really matters. All we care about is picture duration and you can see the default is five. Um, I'll zoom in and just click on that the bottom arrow to lower it and just keep clicking till it goes down to one. So that means that every time you put a picture into the timeline it'll only be one second. 